everyone. Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I have Decals 101, let's just call it that. Um, I'm going to show you how to create decals and store them, or how I store them, um, so that you can use them weeks later. Um, it's kind of really cool. I got the idea from the Decal Diva on Facebook, so I will link her video in the description box below. Mine's just going to be like a quick mini version of that. Actually, completely mini, <laughs> um, because I used like a way smaller little book to, um, you know, store them in and stuff like that. So, but I think you'll find it interesting. So let's get started. Because I'm not going to be making like a ton of decals, this um, size little mini album from Walmart was perfectly the right size for me. Um, I can get two full manis on each page, and there's 24 pages, so that's like 48 manis, and about 90 accent nails, because there's an extra line in here. So um, that's quite a bit. I don't think I'm ever even going to fill that up. So um, so we're going to start with this. Um, also, what you'll need is Wet n Wild Clear Nail Protector. <laughs> Good luck finding this, ladies. Oh my gosh. This is really hard to find. I finally found them at Dollar Tree. And if you think you're going to make like a billion of them, you can buy these by the case online. Um, but I just bought like three bottles when I finally found it. I did try, I can't remember what it was. I did try another clear nail polish and it was, it, it was too stiff. Um, when the nail decals tried, they were too stiff and they, they were, they wasn't going to work. So anyway, so I, I like this. Every time I go into um, the dollar store, I think I'm going to buy one because I haven't made very many decals. Oh, you can't see it, but and I did use a lot of my my um bottle already. So maybe it's just from practicing I used a lot. I don't know. But anyways, I hope it's not gonna go real fast. <laughs> anyway, so um also what I purchased was this 20 pack of sheet protectors for 88 cents from Walmart. And they're just the regular size, eight and a half by eleven. And what I did was I cut six inches up from the bottom, and then I cut four inches from this side, sorry about that hair, um, four inches from this side so that I have a piece that looks like this. And you want to make your cut, the, um, the, whole, the, bind, the little binder holds four by six. So you want to make sure that, you know, you're, you're cutting right there. And then I cut off this part. I just cut off that part. And I measured six inches from the cut part. I'm going to end up with two little pockets that look like this. I cut some cardstock. This one has a cardstock and a piece of paper in there just so that it would fit inside the little pocket because you have a little bit of edge. This is slightly smaller than five, four by six, but I did, I just started out cutting it four by six and then I trimmed it to fit in the pocket. I also um, put, I used Moira stamping guide was perfect to draw little finger shapes um, in the size of my fingers so that um, I could just make a decal that would fit my finger and not have a lot to cut off excess or try to get rid of and fit on my nails. So that's what I did. And then I labeled them <laughs> so I knew what nail they were supposed to go with. So we got thumb, I've got a pinky, two ring fingers, you know, like for accent, and then a middle and an index. And then I realized that the white paper, you don't see, <laughs> see where you put the nail polish real well. So I went ahead and I made some that were pink and blue, because that's what I had in cardstock. So I did the same thing on pink and blue, 
and you can see that you can now see where the decal is a little bit better. So that's what I did. Um, I put a little piece of tape on one edge that's so I can slide my finger in here and kind of pop off the decal. Um, if you look at this one, I think it is. This one, I don't know. One of these I made, I was kind of trying to get it off and I made like a little dent. So I'm not going to be able to use that. I'll have to turn it around or something. But anyway, so that's that. And you'll also need a sheet of wax paper or um, this is parchment paper. That's what I had. And then you just slip it into your pocket after it's dry and you are good to go. Sort of. <laughs> there you go. Slips right in there. Perfect. It's almost all filled up with decal or yeah decal so I'll just show you how I did it so what I did is I just took my wet and wild and I got a generous amount on the brush and I'm just kind of brushing it on kind of want to make it kind of a little thick so you just want to float it on if you get a bubble which is highly a probability you just wipe it off towards the edge And it's another bubble. I'm not going to worry about that. Anyways, but basically, that's the idea. Just load a ton on your sheet protector. There you go, no bubbles. And um, then let it, I let it dry overnight. Um, probably a couple hours and you'll be good to go. So now we'll get to how to make the decal. The plate I'm going to use is Conad M29. Straight up black by Bundle Monster and my monocle stamper. Here I have the image and I'm just going to stamp it right here. There we go. Now we'll wait for it to dry and then I'm going to put a top coat on and I will show you why. Waiting for that to dry, if you get a little bit of um, stamping ink not on your decal, you can just lift it off with tape. Um, be careful not to touch your decal because this will take the decal right off for you. <laughs> this image is dry. I'm just going to glide on a little bit of top coat and that's to, to protect the design when I am um, coloring it in because sometimes if you color it in it it'll like start I don't know if you mess it up it'll remove like, your stamped lines so I just like to seal it in so that everything is um, good so I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll color it Okay, so my decals are dry, and I'm going to be using this Del Sol polish, and it is called Don't Be Jealous. It turns from like a bluish green to a green in the sun, like a brighter green in the sunlight, and it's, oh, I just love it. A little drop of it on this tin foil, and now we'll just get ready to, um, fill in this design and I'm going to be using um, a fine dotting tool. Do that. So this is going to be actually the back of the decal. We will just wait for that to dry and then the decal will be ready to use. Okay, so now um, the base of these decals were made like over a week ago. And this little guy is all ready to come off now. Yeah. All right. 
Hold on. I found a little trick. If you make your details a little longer than you actually need, you can take a piece of tape and that will remove the decal from, um, from the thing. And then you can just cut it off. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the top where the little tape is right off. You don't want to pull it unless maybe you didn't, unless you made your tape non-sticky. Let me just get this off. Um, you don't want to pull it off because it will distort the decal. Okay, so as you can tell, this decal is very flexible, still after a week. And I'm going to just go put it right there. That's all you have to do is kind of push it down on your finger. And then the final step is to top coat it. So I've got my shiny no clean top coat right here. Before I do that, I see a little bit that's overhanging. So I'll just take my little cleanup pen here I know most of you use cleanup brushes, which is totally fine. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I just cannot get the brush to work for me. So um, there we go. I think there's a little bit over here hanging out. There we go. Okay. Sure, there's nothing hanging out on the edge. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm just going to put the, the top coat over it and then cure it. Okay, and I will come right back. Here's the decal after it's been cured. As you can tell, um, I had it in a UV light, so it did change colors. Just bring this up a little. So it changed from this blue to this brighter green. Oh, I just love these Del Sol color changing nail polishes for summer. They are so awesome. So much stuff you can do, especially when you're making decals. So now that the decals are already made, whoops. So now I've got some decals here made and they will last forever, I guess. And I will just slip them in here in their little pocket. I've got my parchment paper so they don't get stuck to the um, top of here if it should get like warm in the house or whatever. Anyway, so just slide it in there and I'm ready for when I wanna use those decals on some more nail art. So, um, anyways, uh, if you want to know more about decal making, definitely check out Decal Diva on Facebook. On Facebook, I will link um, the information in the description box below. I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.